flight test. I'm Josh, this is Josh. Hi. And today we're talking about the HK P47, and more specifically the P47D Thunderbolt Hun Hunter 16, uh, 65th Fighter Squadron, uh, 57th, fighter group, 57th Fighter Group, 12th oh, Air Force. 12th Air Force. Oh, yeah. To be specific. To be specific. Yes. And I think this is considered the supersized, no, that, that's McDonald's, monster-sized P47 from Hobby King. Right? Well, it's big. It's big. It's, it's probably one of the biggest ones we reviewed. Mm -hmm. It can barely fit on the table. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Table. Yeah, now, Hobby King has gone all out with this plane. It is detailed to the hilt, uh, EPO construction, serverless retracts, uh, and really? tail, the tail retracts too. The whole tail does? No, no, just, just the wheel. Oh. Just the wheel on there. I'd say that'd be a problem, wouldn't it? This guy's amazing. Um, it took maybe two mm. hours. No, you're pretty cool too. But this plane is amazing. It took only maybe two to three hours to put together. And that was taking your time. Goes together, the seams are crazy tight and nice fit on everything. It's just awesome. And it comes with a GoPro and an FPV and antenna. And it certainly does not. Oh, okay. No, but you know what we wanted to do is we wanted to uh, to imitate the, the real flying experience, you yeah. know, with view and everything. And th this thing had very little visibility in the air. So we thought putting a GoPro on it, flying at FPV would give us a real appreciation. Of what it was like. What these pilots had to do. Yeah. Yeah. And as far as the, the flying characteristics of it, it's amazing. Yeah. It, it's EPO fallen. When you think this would be really heavy and, and sink like a rock, it doesn't fly like your classic Warbird. It has a real, real nice floating feel to it, but it has a nice scale speed too. And it's a trainer. No, it's not a trainer. Uh, why don't we open up the hatch? Okay. Ah. Big open cockpit in this bad boy. Let's, let's tilt it up here for everybody. Okay. You guys can see real, real simple construction here. Um, you got nice plywood uh, formers put down in here for your hard points. The battery straps in right here. And uh, what they recommend for the battery, if I'm not mistaken, is a Chad 3200 four cell, right? That's correct. 3200 four cell. We flew it with uh, that similar battery pack in there. Way too tail heavy, I didn't like it at all. So what we did is uh, rather than have that set up, we went ahead and put two four cells in parallel. This is both 3,000 milliamp battery packs, still very far forward and More beautiful, nose beautiful. More nose weight, okay. exactly. Other change we did here is rather than tying the cables in for the rudder servos, which you guys are more than welcome to do, we just wanted a spring level, uh, spring uh, loaded uh, tail on it and then just use the prop box over the rudder to taxi. Yeah. You're gonna laugh, aren't you? <laughs> no. You better <laughs> No, I'm not going to. So we, we made a little modification. It's just a personal taste for us. A rubber um, band? The rubber band on the wire just keeps this guy so it just spring loads back to uh, center. See that right there? Right. Yep. And that way, it always goes back and retracts nice. Power wise, crazy power on this thing. It, it will darn near go vertical, but plenty to get off the ground really quick okay. and climb at a nice clip. Very rare scale power for this. And it's got sweet guns. Nice. Yeah, you like the guns, don't and you? And these are on their own separate channels so that you can actually fire them and drop bombs. You, bombs you really just detach. And you can drop them. You're really obsessed with the whole weapons on airplanes, aren't you? Yeah, I mean, well, that's why they put them there. He's gonna have the FBI calling. I know it's just a matter of time. Well, I mean, if they're gonna put guns in here, I'm gonna fire them. <laughs> you know what? Flaps are real nice. They wide together, but rather than having to do any mixing or anything special here, you see this one red servo? Uh, we left the cover plates off on purpose so you could see this. This is reversed. So the nice thing, everything wise together, you don't have to do any special programming on your plane at all. You just simply flip it on there, the flaps both go down together, and we'll go ahead and fire that up and show it to you. And no servos on the uh, retracts here either. Uh, basically, they're all electric servo-less, and they lock in and lock out. So really nice. durable, real nice. Uh, same back here, no servo involved here. It's all electric with a worm gear, and you can see what we did here just to make it follow through. Right. I like that setup, I prefer that. Okay. Oh, sorry, microphone man. You're There's too much stuff here. All right, you want to put some batteries in it? Yeah. Very cool. Now, once again, what we're putting in is not specified for it, but just the way we flew it, it seemed to fly best with two, three thousand parallels. A little more nose together. weight. A little more nose weight. I like nose weight. Um, and it didn't make the uh, pitch control anemic at all. So, Chad did something really smart with this guy. He actually made it so we can turn the GoPro on an auxiliary channel which is really, really nice. There you nice. go. Nice. So you look left and right. Yeah. And there we go. And I have that hooked up to a, uh, a turn knob, so that way we can we can do it independently from all the other channels. And Chad also did this. There's a little magnet right back here, so you can pop this part of the hatch off. Yeah. And get to your GoPro. Yep. And, and underneath, to take away the vibration, 
uh, so you don't have vibration in your footage, you put some of this little rubber sticky head stuff. Josh has been whacking everybody all day with this. It's crazy. Don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> and, and powering this thing is a 4258 um, brushless outrunner with a 400 kV uh, rating. So 400 RPMs per volt. That's a lot of torque. And a big scale uh, four blade prop needs that. So lots of power and the best way to show it is by flying. You know? All right. Yeah. Ready I feel like I'm sitting next to Dave now. Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's go outside. Still fly. I would love to go outside and watch you fly this can't get a pass here. Being for winter, this is pretty good, huh? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Now, before he puts it down, I want to take the opportunity to show you these beautiful retracts. Yes. Here. First thing, uh, keep your eye on the tail and the these guys. Not too fast, not too slow, nice and scale. Isn't that cool? And you hear them lock like that, open them down again. As simple as that. All right. And the other thing I did is when I programmed the flaps here, I had just one step flaps. This thing already lands as slow as can be. I can't even imagine needing the flaps, but I went ahead and put them on time so they transition nice and slowly going down. That way it just doesn't bump the airplane up and you can have time to uh, to adjust for it. Because oftentimes when you put flaps on the plane, they'll kind of porpoise up a little bit. So if you have a computer radio, oftentimes you can dial your elevator in the move to adjust for that as well. It's crazy slow, crazy docile as it is. So don't really need it, but it is a nice feature. All right, why don't you go ahead and hit record on the GoPro. All right. And uh, once again, Chad has his ground station just behind uh, Mike here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this up. And the goal is David's on his way. Where are you, David? Right there. Hi. So he yeah. has the baby P-51. David's and gonna give us something to chase. Yes. Yep. And uh, Chris is actually here. He's gonna buddy box with Josh. Yeah, for a very good reason. Just in case Josh loses his mind. When, uh, when I go FPV, uh, my good friend here is gonna plug in. And that way, if I lose control, because obviously the visitation is there. Visitation. <laughs> Visibility is very limited. Visitation. <laughs> Visibility is very limited. So if I lose control, I don't want to lose this guy. It's just too beautiful. I'm going to hand it over to the capable hands of Chris here. And Chris, you've actually flown these bigger. Yeah, I've got a couple at home. Yeah. fly nice. Oh, great. Very full cool. scale? So, no, not full scale. Oh, that made me I wish. In your garage. <laughs> so Chris is going to be my safety net. And I'd recommend if you guys ever fly FPV, if you're not sure about something, have a buddy that can fly so you can hand it off to him. Okay. All right, you ready to do this? Yeah. Both are good. You can get them moving this All right. way. Only thing I'm a little nervous about is the ground is crazy frozen right now. And because of that, rocks going over rocks and everything, that's much more brutal on landing gears. So we'll get it off the ground really quick. It may not be the prettiest, but uh, we'll go from there. Dave, okay. you want to go first? Yeah. And there goes my friend David. And here we go. Hey. Wow, what? Hold on, I gotta turn this bad boy up. How's the signal, Chad? Good. Problem is, you right? are in front of David, so. Yep, I'm gonna, gonna get a little bit of altitude. You wanna right, plug me in, brother? You guys plug together? Here, I'll show you how to do it, Chris. There's a little hole right oh, here. Oh, gotcha. You plug it into right there. Okay? Thanks. And you're set. All right. <laughs> okay. Sorry about throwing the glasses. That's all right. Ready? You have to step closer. Got it? Oh wow, what a beautiful sight that Is it okay? Yep. Night, walking right. in a winter one. Alright, I see the tower. I should probably miss that. You know how I like towers. Alright, David. I don't David, I don't know if I'm gonna even be able to see you, but I'm willing to try. Do you see the tower? Yeah, I see, yeah, I see the tower now. So is this level right here? No. Uh, right there's level. Okay. Now I got the horizon figured out. Yeah, just put the horizon in the middle. Yeah, there you go. Alright, David. Now, if you're below me, I can't see you. Okay, go right. <laughs> He's behind you. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Pull back. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Stay away from that tower, guys. Yeah, I don't like this. I don't even see the tower. Am I going towards oh, the tower? Oh, battery flopped out, too. All right, oh I can't. Oh, my God. I, I don't even know where I am. <laughs> All right, turn around. To the garage, turn around. <laughs> <laughs> okay, come home. Disaster. Oh, I'm not home? I thought it was right over no. my head. No, <laughs> we're, 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 way we're quite a ways away, and the antenna's not even pointing. Yeah. <laughs> All right. You want me to take these off? What? Oh, where am I? Uh, you're right over your shoulder right okay. here. Okay. Okay, go ahead and take them off. All right. Look up. There you go. Hey, here I am. It looks like I'm flying high alpha. You know, I haven't sucked the gear up on this thing. Let's go ahead and do a couple passes with the gear up. There goes the gear. 
Well guys, FPV with this is a challenge to say the least. Uh, I have a lot of respect for those guys uh, flying these things because visibility is not an option. Um, but the characteristics are very nice. Yeah, it looks cool. It has really a really good nice presence in the air, doesn't it? Yeah, sounds good too. Yeah, it does. Drop a bomb. Can't drop a bomb. I wish I could, because I'd love to get, you know, maybe someday we'll, we'll do a Warbird where we can drop bombs. Yes. Just for you. Fantastic. All right. Well, you know, I haven't done rolls or anything. Should I do a roll? Sure. Whoa. Oh. Actually, just beautiful scale. <laughs> just, I think David's trying to knock me out of here. <laughs> Looks like it. Oh, oh, oh. Right. Well, that's the end of that. And you know what? I think I'm going to go. Fine. <laughs> I'm going to go and sit back here. I, I now oh know why gosh. they call them the jugs. Because <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's do a flyby and see what we got. Yeah, yeah, it looks good. It doesn't look, I don't think it. Oh, it knocked off the bomb. Oh, it did. It knocked yeah. off the bomb. That was the drop take. Oh, the drop take. Yeah. Okay, yeah. All right, let's go ahead and put it in for a lady and see how it looks. Well, Here's we know who would win in combat. <laughs> Right. Now, one important thing to remember is when you land, it floats really nice, but when you set it down, it has a lot of inertia. You it's going to keep of, on rolling. Of runway. A little bit of runway. Little bit. Hey, what are you doing? You just disintegrated oh. my plane. That was you, it, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, you do have some hot glue, right? Yeah, it's fine. It's just, um, yeah, it's going to yeah. be fine. So, P-47s, little tiny <laughs> Mustangs, don't mix. No. No, no. no. Not at all. Yeah, well, well so, brother. Thank you, man. Good, good flying until you hit me. But, uh, you <laughs> okay, know. I'm gonna see gonna if go I can fix it. <laughs> all right. Yeah, I wanna go see the pieces. All right. Hey guys, the P47 rocks. That's all I gotta say about it. Really nice handling characteristics. The only thing I gotta say is, is it's very pitchy. Um, I got 65% on throws and about 30% expo. My high rates um, are set to 80 and 20. All right, so set your high rates maybe 80, 20, low rates uh, 60 and 35. Life will be good. Okay. All right. All right, I wanna thank you guys for watching. Thanks Hobby King for sponsoring this episode. Go to our website, flighttest.com, and check out our forum. Absolutely. All right, let's go, go see, if there's, see if there's anything left. <laughs> see you next time. Yeah.